ったね。Let's go. Hello, everyone. My name is Ryan, and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Now, I will say that I have played this before, but only like 30 minutes of it. I tried recording this like months ago. I tried streaming it months ago, and I just didn't end up finishing it. Literally, only got 30 minutes in, and. Oh, wow. I just got hit with a wave of excitement. Uh, as you guys know, I've been doing Doki Doki World of Dreams, but I kind of wanted to do Doki Doki Literature Club Plus as well because I haven't played or watched any of the side stories. I've had this... I, I literally paid for this game, played it for 30 minutes, and then I haven't touched it for months because I was waiting for an opportunity to play it again and record it. And now I have that opportunity. Uh, <laughs> so, we're just going to go through the main game. Um, I, man, it's been a while since I've seen like the updated visuals. Alright, let's just do it. New game. <sighs> hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. There she is! Look at her in the updated graphics. Oh, she looks so good. <sighs> I overslept again! But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh? You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's me, Ryan. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Hee <laughs> hee. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Ryan, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but i die at the thought of you becoming a neat in, the, in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her, ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. <sighs> As you see, I do have saves. I made it to the first poems. I just overwrite the save. At like 7 4 2021. So that was. January, February, April, May, June, July. That was. 
July 4th, 2021. So that was July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. That was eight months ago. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pu pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Zari wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was facing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh? Meanie? Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And that Suki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or sh if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. Oh, I can't wait to see all these got people, all these people, all these girls. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Ah, uh, hi, Yuri. Ugh. Yuri, ah, I'm already like getting like chills because like yuri in the main game i've said a few times has that like actually gave me nightmares gave me a reoccurring nightmare for three nights straight welcome to the literature club it's a pleasure meeting you sayori always says nice things about you la yeah hi nasuki oh nasuki best girl she always is always will be nasuki best girl seriously you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Ryan. What a nice surprise. Hello, Monica. Monica's second best girl. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki. Hum. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first-year student. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You could just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like Yuri and Monica, is that right? That's right! It's great to see you again, Ryan. 
There is her signature pose. Her, why does it look like it's glowing down there? And also, is that just stuff on my screen? Yeah, it is. Okay. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So, having her smile at me so... DISGUSTING! Excuse me. So, having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, Ryan. We may have... We, what? We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As I already mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Aw, oh, she looks so adorable. I, f I love Natsuki. Fuck. <laughs> Ta-da! I accidentally clicked ahead. Ta-da! Ooh! Natsuki lifts the foil of the tr off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Hehe, <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and Azuri managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my finger, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Was she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. But well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe, but not for you, no, you dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I, I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. Were you the leader? Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Haha, <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and club. club publicity of how to prepare for events. 
I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Malika really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthousi enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Ryan, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Th not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp at something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Asuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wh what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called, Don't say it out loud! And get that back! Fine, fine. Hehe, <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori slides up behind that sticky and puts her hands on her shoulder. Here's the favorite, my favorite line. I want you! Yes, you are. <clears throat> Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't? like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have a uh, writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help set Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, 
signature pose time. I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzic quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Ryan? My Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... Oh god, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with, deject with dejected eyes. But, but... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm! <laughs> Ryan... Y you all... I I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. <laughs> I never noticed. It. Well, I, I didn't notice this until I watched the game grumps, but fuck yeah, it's Monica's like Natsuki is literally just munching on Monica's hair. How how how? Yeah, that tastes good, Monica. How? <laughs> Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Ryan, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hehe. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star and Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Ryan, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to glow, to glow, yeah, to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Alright. Time to write a poem. Pick where do you think your favorite. Alright, so. Obviously, I'm going to go with the Natsuki. I'm going with Natsuki, sorry. Uh, cheer. Oh, fuck. I don't remember her. I don't remember all of her, uh. Words. Every kiss. That shit. Doki Doki. Uh, email. Papa. Anime. Uh. What? Uh, yeah, I didn't know it was going to say right. Kawaii. Poof. Uh. Uh, 
I still think I got all of it. I think I still think I got Natsuki. Hi again, Ryan. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back in, at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everybody else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Ryan. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. Sarah told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps their manga collection in the club room. Meh, meh, meh. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying manga and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Ryan always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even asking. Without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, so that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Ryan can become good friends too. Uh, um, Sayori. Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she has put me into. Oh, oh! Yuri even brought you something today. You know? W wait, Sayori! Eh? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy! It's really nothing. What is it? Th never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh? I I'm sorry, Sayori. Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal out of it if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we, we could, you know, d discuss it if you want it. Th this is... How's this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. And I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. <laughs> But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around the, in the closet. Uh, okay, yeah, so we, we are going, Natsuki. Cool. Ah! I hear Natsuki utter an ex... Expasserate? Ex... <laughs> sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You're looking for something in there? Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping her collection organized if someone else is just going to mess it up? Nasuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Ah. Sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I, I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Asuki snatches it out of my hand. 
Jeanette turns to the box of manga and slips a volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one bo book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feels. I get a closer look at the box that she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're going to judge, you could do it through the glass on that door. She points towards the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Ryan. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, Masuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attires, striking animated fem feminine poses. It's ex exceedingly mo. Don't just stand there. What? Asuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windows sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Eh? Why's that? Ah, I guess it's easier to read to be close together like this. <sighs> Don't just say that. You make me feel weird about it. Atsuki crosses her arm and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be saying this close to her either. Not that I can say is particularly a bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space she, while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel, feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but... Nothing, nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make me up for the lack of plot. So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean... Well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot at the beginning is about simple things. Like there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. But, to just, but that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they all get into their backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. There are so many touching parts. Ah, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. Hehe! <laughs> wait, hey, wait! What's that supposed to be? What? Well, Atsuki gives me a little shove. I just meant that I haven't yet seen you at your full power. Hmph, <laughs> good save. Ah, this chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well... Nasuki pauses for a moment, as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah? Why does that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's just a coincidence! I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. Like, I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga. I feel bad for anyone that ir impressionable. Haha! <laughs> Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, out of all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, it's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention, she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? There it is, the beautiful artwork. We read on for a few more minutes. I finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. 
I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series that I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? You don't? Um, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, sorry. Hmm. Like I could ever get any of my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Eh? You still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loner, so I guess I gravitated toward the other, oh, losers, losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Oh, I, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So? Haha. <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep, keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. There it is. That's... There it is. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot that happens! Natsuki puts a finger on one of the panels. Binori is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets except... Exception... It gets especially bad when... Uh... I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast for, to her usual bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when something, when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience, the thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone. Eh? Are you all ready with today's poems? Oh, come on! Could your timing be any worse? Sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though you do look pretty cozy over there. <laughs> eh? Uh, ah! Asuku suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. Alright. Guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah, but... Monica just said... Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Eh? Is that really alright? I say that mostly because I didn't... I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. It would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. By tomorrow. I only got part way through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Alright then. I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I can't really find much inspiration since i never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Ooh, share. Alright, so it's poem sharing time, ladies and gentlemen. 
<sighs> I think I've been going for long enough, so I'm going to end this episode here. Also, do you want to see something cool? If you go to the main menu, choose exit DDLC, it'll bring me to this desktop. This isn't like my actual desktop. So you have DDLC and side stories, the file, mail, and we got a new picture? Did we get a new picture? Let's see, I've already seen some of the uh, photos. The po I've already seen the poem so far. Sketches. Oh, a concept sketch of the complete cast drawing. Oh. Select the word Doki Doki during the poem game. Okay. That's nice. I like that. But yeah, I've already seen the poems. I guess I did read through them. But oh well. Yeah, I'll actually set this as my wallpaper. Alright. So, that will do it for this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. The first episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. I am so happy to be playing this because, as I said, it's been like eight months since I tried to play this. And it's been a while since I've seen the actual story of this game. I mean, I have been re watching it recently. I've been showing my girlfriend it because I wanted her to see it. And, I mean only got a little bit into the game. I think we got to a poem section. I think we did. I'm not sure. But that'll do it for today. Uh, I hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a great night, great afternoon, great evening, whatever time it is for you. Uh, if you want to play the game, I'll put it down in the description. I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!